Let's take a look at some example questions. So the, here we're trying to work out the density. So density is the mass divided by the volume. So it's 3,200 grams divided by 864 cubic centimeters. So therefore the density is gonna be 3200 0, 0, divided by 864, which equals 3.703. So to one decimal place, that's gonna be 3.7. And because we used grams, and cubic centimeters, the unit is gonna be grams per cubic centimeter, but normally the units are taken care of for you. Okay, let's take a look at this next question. So we want to give our answer in grams per cubic centimeters, but here the mass is in kilos. So let's turn that into grams. One kilo is a thousand grams. So 5.6 times 1,000, that's 5,600 grams. So density is the mass over the volume. So 5,600 grams divided by, ah, and we've got another problem here, is we don't know the volume, but it's a cube with a side length of eight. So the volume of a cube is simply, well, all the dimensions of a cube are the same. So it's gonna be eight times eight times eight. So let's work out that first of all. Eight times eight times eight is 512. So the volume, is 512 cubic centimeters. So our calculation is 5600 0, 0, divided by 512, and that comes to a total of 10.9375. And two decimal places, we need to look at the value of the third decimal place. So the five is irrelevant. This is greater than five, so the three is gonna move up one to a four. So the answer is gonna be 10.94 grams per cubic centimeter. So here we're trying to work out the mass. So density is mass over volume or density is mass divided by volume. So if I move the divided by volume over to the other side, density multiplied by the volume equals the mass. So the density is four and we want the volume. Again, it's another cube with a side length of five. So the volume of the cube is gonna be five times five times five, which is 125. So our calculation now is four times one, two, five, which is 500 grams. So this is a tricky question. So here we've been given the density and we've been given the mass. Now, since we've been given the density and the mass, we probably need to work out the volume. It's not stated in the question, we need to work out the volume, but we probably do. Otherwise, why, why did they give us the density and the mass? So density is mass over volume. So volume equals the mass over the density. So the mass is 11,088 and the density is 19.25. And 11,088 divided by 19.25 comes to 576. So the volume is 576 cubic centimeters. Now to get a volume from a cuboid, you would have to multiply 12 times eight times, and in this case, times are unknown, which is X and 12 times eight times X is gonna equal 576. First of all, let's just work out 12 times eight. 12 eights are 96. And 96 times X means 96 X. So 576 cubic centimeters equals 96 lots of X, or might be easier thinking of it as 96 X equals 576. So if 96 X's are 576, then one X is simply 576 divided by 96, and 576 divided by 96 comes to six. So our value for X is going to be six centimeters.